Hi, I'm Dwani. Today I'm going to explain a property called metachirality. But first, let's understand normal chirality. Let's begin with something we all do every day. Look in the mirror. But does the girl in the mirror really look the same as me? Well, she has a bracelet on her left wrist while well, I have one on my right. Also, the words on her shirt are backwards. If everything is the opposite, how can it be the same picture? What would the case be if a butterfly looked in the mirror? Now, nothing is backwards and everything is the same. What is so different about this butterfly's reflection compared to mine? The girl and her reflection do not look the same, while the butterfly and its reflection do look exactly the same. This shows us the property of chirality. Let's demonstrate this with some simple shapes. The blue J's reflection is in the shape of an L. I can't get the L by rotating the J in any direction. The J piece is a chiral object because you cannot get the reflected object by rotating the original. Is this purple T block chiral? Since you can in fact get the reflection by rotating the original, the T is not a chiral object. Now that we understand that chiral means not the same as this mirror image, let's move on to metachirality. For this, we'll need to know the three types of transformations. There's rotations, reflections, and translations. What happens if you combine two of these? Combining a translation and a reflection results in a pretty normal glide reflection. A rotation and a reflection just gives a pretty normal reflection, just over a different line. But wait, and this is where it gets interesting. A translation on a rotation results in a normal rotation, no matter where the two objects are on the plane. But what if the object is not on the plane? Until now, we've only worked with two dimensions, but now let's bring it into the third dimension. Now, instead of translating a piece sideways, I'll bring it up and then rotate it. Hmm, what effect does this have on the reflection? Now it looks like the reflection is moving up the same amount, but instead of rotating it to the left, it's rotating to the right in the opposite direction. This reminds me of how my shirt looked opposite in the mirror. My shirt is a chiral object, so this tower must also be a chiral object since the reflection cannot be acquired by rotating the original in any way. Since you cannot get the reflected object by doing the same set of transformations performed to the original, the object is metachiral. Now to review. Chirality is when you can't get the reflected shape by rotating the original object in any way. And metachirality is when you can't get the reflected object by performing the same set of transformations to both pieces. This T-shaped butterfly and ring are not chiral. Some chiral objects are this J-shape, the girl's shirt, and this Rubik's cube. A few metachiral objects are this drill bit and pasta piece.